DJ Vetsner. I use he, him pronouns, and I am a puppeteer for Seton Hill's production of Little Shop of Horrors. I'm the puppeteer for pod one, as well as pod three. And I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes stuff on how we're able to operate these puppets. This is like a little shelving unit for the show, and I'm able to get down in here, and I'm in here from the beginning of the show. And if you look underneath here, or with the puppet, it has uh, Velcro straps with a like, like a, like a rope or string. So in the show, um, Seymour, who is played by the wonderful Brooks Brady, is, um, he takes the pod out of the back shop and he places it here. And we have a little hidey thing so that, you know, we're able to cover up the hole so you can't really see it from the audience. As he places the puppet down, right here, I remove the little hidey thing. And I'm able to then use the Velcro, Velcro straps that are conveniently, conveniently placed underneath here. And with these, that anchors the plant. And as we do this, as it's anchored, I then have another anchor, which is the string, where I tug down. And as I'm tugging down, I'm able to get my hand up into the puppet, where it has two very nicely placed um, like straps, so I can able to operate its mouth. Hello everybody, I'm Taylor Humaney, I'm a junior theater performance major, so I'm a puppeteer for Little Shop of Horrors for pod number two. Uh, this is the second puppet that comes out right after our handy dandy hand puppet, and I'm in it for the song, I believe it's called You Never Know. So, this puppet is basically acts on a rod puppet, I climb in here during the show, kind of, uh, during a transition scene, and it basically goes off a couple of... Uh, of, well, rods, which we will be showing in just a moment. So basically there's a rod, if you can see it, right here that acts as the mouthpiece, and then there's two up here that act as the leaves. So basically, put it over here, sit crisscross applesauce as per custom, and then using the rod, I can go up, down, open, close the mouth, give it a little look around. And then, additionally, I have another uh, set of rods that allow me to move the leaf separately. So usually I raise it a little bit. I can move one leaf, give it a little shake, take another leaf, give it a little shake. I like to grab both of them to kind of do kind of a shoulder kind of thing where I twist both of them, kind of give a little bit of energy, and then combine, kind of make the character feel alive, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's my puppet video, and I hope you enjoy. Water. Hi, my name is Jake Carnahan Curcio. My pronouns are he, him, and I am an art therapy major here at Seton Hill, and I am the head for pod three. Hi, TJ again. I am the hands for pod three. <laughs> We've sort of developed a system where TJ sort of crawls in the front mm. and then puts his hands out of underneath here, and then um, I actually sit back here on a rolling stool and whenever I stand up for the show, Liz, or puppet wrangler, removes the stool. She also collects the body parts <laughs> after <laughs> we're done eating <laughs> orange. Yeah. So uh, there's a couple different scenes, like you have hand choreography, and I sort yeah. of try to match the head with the hand choreography, like, would you like a Cadillac car? I try to turn the head so that mm -hmm. it's sort of, um, but I do a lot of uh, moving the head to follow uh, Seymour as well and trying to um, laugh <laughs> by going upwards. So I have an ear monitor so I can listen to Dimitri, who is our fantastic voice. I can hear everything he's saying. I can hear when he's about to start talking his little breath and I can you know, actually get going. Um, we have neck fans because it actually gets really, really hot in here. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a water backpack. It I broke, yeah. but you still, I still have mine. So yeah, it gets pretty warm inside of there. And we have our little jumpsuits on, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a face I do. owl. Yeah, thing. 
I feel like the Grim Reaper in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just so nobody sees him. Yeah, because I, I get I get pretty passionate with the hands. <laughs> Here is the stool, the rolling stool. So TJ usually gets in first. Yeah. If you want to demonstrate that. Yeah, I'll slide in here. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I usually sit crisscross applesauce. We're in here for what? Probably about like a half an hour. Yeah, we're. It's quite yeah, a while. It's a, it's a long while in here. So I scoot up as far as I can, and then I put my hands through, and then I'm already set. So the stool goes here, and then I shimmy on in. Go mouth. Yep. Thank you, Teresa. And you get the stool. And we're inside. So I am inside the, the pot right now, standing right behind where TJ is. And um, and I have like a full range of motion. So I can even like, I shimmy my body like this and the head. And sometimes I also reach out at Brooks like, like that. <laughs> So there's like two, um, there's two handles inside the mouth so that I can uh, move it with. And there's a hole right here, hello, that the body parts go through and that I can sort of see where Seymour's at so I can sort of look around. Yep. I've got like two rods in here so I can get better, you know, motion with the hands and stuff, you know. But my, like what Jake was saying, I have like hand choreography for uh, get it with and with the coda as well. So a little bit of that, a little bit of spice to the numbers. <laughs> I think the favorite thing, my favorite thing that we do is whenever you hit the uh, the pot to the beat and I, I bounce. The oh yeah, uh, during Seymour's little solo yeah. in, in Get It. So you have Seymour singing the song and I sit here and I like kind of bounce out the beat, right? So it just looks like the puppet's grooving around. Yep. So, yep. I think one of my favorite parts is um, it's kind of like earlier on, earlier on in Get It. I I smack Brooks while he's on his he's kind of like trying to make a little escape, and so I, I give him a little whack at the leg. So you, you usually get a pretty cool reaction out of that one. Hello everybody, I'm Taylor Humaney, I'm a junior theater performance major. And we are the people inside of Audrey Pod 4. Yeah. So, pretty much, we stay about right here. Actually, we're on each other's yeah. side already. So we both control parts of the mouth, and then parts of the flail as yeah. well. And yeah. basically, there's like these kind of backpack type situation. We have a lot of hands and all that to help us out. Uh, we're basically lifting the puppet off of its stand. We slide on in, strap ourselves in, do a double check, because you know we want to make sure it's functioning. And then once we get all the checks and balances in, we have little stools, squat down, and we're ready to go. And we can have kind of the main rod for the mount that's guided by two for Teresa and I, we just kind of hold her up. And then we kind of have a sleeve that we can put in and wiggle around our tendrils create a, a more a lively appearance for our puppet. We both use these little ear monitors to hear what Dramitri, who is the voice, uh, is saying and speaking because it's really kind of hard to hear him when we don't. When you're covered in foam and fabric. <laughs> we do a fight call every time we perform, every time we rehearse, just to make sure everything is right. And uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well. Uh, so while we're eating people, <laughs> Uh, we have this little platform that goes in between both me and Taylor that connects the slide and they just kind of like jump in and kick around a little bit and then they just yoink themselves down the slide mm -hmm. where there are little crash pads in the back and we're just sitting there we're chomping away so yeah. 
Hello everybody, I'm Taylor, again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colby Miller, I use he, him pronouns, I'm a musical theater BFA major, and I played Orin in the show. Yeah, so what we have here is our group of dead people puppets. Basically we use them for the finale, they kind of popped up near the audience as a representative of each character. So as you can see, I am holding uh, Seymour, uh, good old Colby here is holding uh, Audrey, as well as his own plant character, you know, <laughs> mess. and then we have uh, Mushnik over here chilling. As you can see, we have Mushnik's iconic uh, hat, Seymour's glasses, Audrey's scarf, and of course the amazing mask on Orin. <laughs> and yeah, to create them, give them a little bit of personality, and just have a lot of fun with the uh, characters. How do these puppets work? Well, great question. So basically, uh, our puppeteers and some of the ensemble would help out and they basically would pop them up like this and they function a lot like uh, pod 2 as we discussed before. They are rod puppets. So I'll get up close here. You can see there is a trigger. So upon not pressing it, the mouth stays open. Uh, pressing it closes it. So then you just kind of open and close, pressing it and giving a little twist of the wrist. You can create some movement as you can see, see more.